Welcome back to WKYT this morning. Well, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory has made its return to the Lexington Opera House this weekend. And we're happy to have Michael Miller, Broadway Live Insider, with us for a preview. Michael, good morning. Thank you for being with us. Good morning. It's my pleasure. Yeah. How did it feel? You said it was so busy downtown last night. How did it feel to have that energy back, people back oh, in the Oh, it was seats? so exciting. It was tip off at the game was at 7. This show opened at 7.30. So it was buzz, buzz, buzz. And everyone just running around trying to remember that your tickets are now on your cell phone, not right. in your pocket. So contactless. It's so exciting. What tell us a little bit about this production. What's it all about? Okay, well people will remember probably Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory the Factory, the classic nineteen seventy one film. So it's kind of based on that, but more so the original book by Roald Dahl. Mm -hmm. And so and also Charlie and the Ch Chocolate Factory was released as a movie, I think, with Johnny Depp a few years ago. But right. this is so this is sort of like a mixture of all those different versions and with a new twist on things. And so it played mm -hmm. on Broadway and in the West End successfully and now it's on tour. In fact this tour started right before COVID hit. And then it shut down like everything else. And so this is their first sort of the next leg of their tour. They opened in October um, in um, Oklahoma, I think. And so ah. they're here all weekend. So it's a great show. So a mix of old and new. Yes, yes. And this is a family friendly production, right? Very family friendly. I think if your kids, if you're taking kids um, under 12, you might want to make sure that they're at least a little bit familiar with the story. Sure. May maybe not introduce them to the movie first, but maybe just read part of the book and just let them know yeah. that things are going to happen to these kids that don't really happen in real life. This, some of it's kind of gruesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tell us, Michael, what do people love so much about this beloved story and the show? What makes it so special? I think the bratty kids get their comeuppance. <laughs> I mean, Willy Wonka is this kind of strange character. Of course, the hero of the show, though, is Charlie, the little boy who, who finds the final golden ticket. And, yeah. and he's from sort of a fairy tale version of poverty, um, but he's a very, from a very poor background. And he gets the final ticket and gets to go visit the factory. And so it's in Act Two when things really get started um, to happen excitingly. That's when they enter the factory and all the kids are in there, and the, and the set is just phenomenal. And the, that's when the Oompa Loompas come out. And so. It's quite a spectacle. I'm in it for the Oompa Loompas. Exactly. And this is a story that really anyone can relate to, right? Oh yeah, you don't, you don't even need to be familiar with the story um, to get it. I'm just saying if you're taking young kids though, just introduce them to th that part of it's going to be gruesome and it's all just a story, it's not real life. Good to have a conversation. Yes, always. And tell us how people can see it, when and where. Well, it's showing all weekend, this weekend at the Opera House. Uh, last night was opening night, um, nearly a packed house. I think your best ticket availability, if you don't have a ticket yet, is probably going to be Sunday evening at 6.30. But there are tickets available for all the shows and you can call 233-3535. The number's on the screen there. So. What's it like to have that live music back? Oh, it's so exciting. When Lou Ann Franklin, the artistic director of the yes. Opera House, yes. stepped on the stage last night to introduce this, you could just tell everyone was just so excited to see her, and boy, was she excited to see us and see that house nearly <laughs> full again. So. Absolutely, and just the actors on the stage, there's something really magical about having that whole story unfold just feet away from you. Yes, and they're back, and they're excited to be back. Yeah, and there's not a bad seat in that house. Lexington oh, Opera right. House is a great venue. It is. All right, thank you so much for joining Thanks us, Michael. For me. Just a reminder, we're going to put those up on your screen, uh, the number to call Lexington Opera House, times and dates, when you can go see this production. It's not one you want to miss. And a lot coming ahead, right? What's the next show? This is the first of five shows this season. Coming up next, we've got Hairspray coming at the end of the season. We've got Waitress coming up and two other shows you're not going to want to miss. No, absolutely not. Michael, thank you so much. Thank you.